Hello, everyone. This is Yang Liu from Hong Kong Baptist University. I'm sorry for not coming in person today, so I will use a video presentation instead. In this presentation, I will introduce our group's work on learning memorability preserving subspace for predicting media memorability. Our system is composed of two parts. The first part is subspace learning, and the second part is prediction. In the first part, we propose the memorability preserving embedding to learn a low-dimensional subspace in which the memorability information, as well as the manifold structure of the dataset, can be well preserved. In the second step, we're going to predict the memorability scores. Therefore, we formulate the problem as a real-value regression problem and use the new SVR to solve it. In this year, we participate in two subtasks. The first is the short-term memorability subtask, and the second is the long-term memorability subtask. And we use both video specialized features and image features provided by the task. For the video feature, we use the C3D feature, and for the image feature, we use LBP and color histogram features. First of all, we learn the transformation matrix W by using the proposed method on the development set. And then we utilize the learned W to map both the development set and the test set onto the low dimensional subspace. After that, we train the new SVR using the development set in the subspace. And finally, we employ the trained SVR model to predict the memorability score of the test data in the same subspace. For each of the subtasks, we submit four runs. The only difference between these runs is the dimension of the subspace. There are four, five, nine, ten. For run one, run two, run 3 and run 4, respectively. So here is the result. We show the performance of our method in terms of the Spearman correlation and MSE in Table 1. So from the table, we firstly observe that the result, both the Spearman and the MSE on the short-term subtask, are better than those on the long-term subtask which indicates that the short-term memorability is more predictable than the long-term memorability. And the second observation is that the performance on the original space with the capital D is slightly worse than that on the learned subspace, which indicates that reducing the dimensionality with the supervised information in a suitable way could improve the subsequent learning performance. And the third observation is that the results in terms of Spearman coefficient is still far from the satisfactory and can be largely improved. The reason might be that the MPE is actually a linear method which may not be sufficient to capture the complex discriminant information embedded in the high-dimensional original feature space. Based on the experimental result and the analysis, the first future work we are going to conduct is to generalize our method to the nonlinear scenario to enhance its data representation ability. Moreover, we are going to explore the physical meaning of the learned subspace because this could improve the interpretability of our approach. That's all of my presentation. If you have any questions, you can email me. Thank you very much.